Hey, look what was under that last case I looked at. This is a matchbox, holds 24 models. Oh, and these are black walls on the cover. And this baby has been taped up. It's old. I haven't looked into this in a while, but this one's got a snap. Oh, snap! Are you ready to look at this? Oh! It's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. Special edition, come with me! Spring has sprung and we are heading out to the garage sales, flea markets, and toy shows! Those are where the greatest treasures are found! You never know what you're gonna find! Somebody stop me! Now with steering on these things, if the steering goes a little crooked, I'm taking it as a crash and a three wheel thing also crash. And look at this, the one guy got a little whack of jack so his tires don't fit in and this guy's tires do fit in the track. Oh, disaster happening. Oh, baby, look at this case. Look at all these cars in here. You got a steamroller and dump trucks, gas trucks. Oh, the MB Ma Team Matchbox race car and the Team 8 Matchbox race car. These things are cool. Oh, and that modern one, that space one with the little lights on it and stuff. Uh, now this case has been repaired so we it's got like glue on top of glue and it's sticky sticky still but it's got this goat sticker on there National Wildlife Federation and a goat oh, no name on the case oh maybe there is look at this Billy! Oh! BM. BHM Billy. Oh, Billy! Thanks for giving up your case! Let's get into this! Oh. Oh, look what's inside! Some missing missile pieces that were always missing! Oh, how cool is that? Now here's the NASA one, but we're missing the nose on it, but the other one is complete. Oh, look at these cars. So cool. Let's get low and let's go. Now this one, Mission Missile. This looks like a new one, brand new one. And I might have bought this years ago. Oh, let's see. I haven't looked in these cases in a long time. 1985. I know I did not buy this in 85, but this is the missile for this thing. Ah, oh, isn't that cool? I always find these, but never with the missiles. But again, people look in the pieces and parts. I'm telling you, they're in there. And eventually, you will find this somewhere in a parts box. Oh, here's the NASA one with a flag on it. Very cool. What do we got here? Upside down. Transporter vehicle 1985. Matchbox. Now see? I've got a lot of those, but not with the missile. The full missile. Well, maybe if I just crop it in tight like this, you'll be like, oh, he's got the full missile. But then the camera pans up and it's gone. Oh, oh, oh. These things are cool. Oh, look at this. A caravan. A caravan van. <laughs> Now this one is looking really sweet from this side, but this side, someone yanked the door off. Oh, and it was a slider. 
totally cool Matchbox 1984 Dodge Caravan Matchbox International copyright 1983 oh, oh, oh. Do the math on all those kiddos Oh look at this GTO Oh this is sweet Come on we're up here camera I know that's a cool caravan But this is the judge In yellow Nice look at this now this one looks like brand spanking new. There was a time I was buying cars spanking new. 1995 Matchbox. 70 Pontiac GTO. Ah oh, yeah. The orange one's still my favorite. Oh little man, look at this. I know it's not a Hot Wheel, but it's a Matchbox from your era. Ah, doors opening, right hand drive on that. Look at this modern Contempo with a trailer hitch. Oh, what's this super secret license plate on that? SAR 8576. Oh, I wonder if it is from 1976. 69! Whoa, Lotus Yupora, Europea, Europa, Poparia, Oz. Oh, is this a super fast? Am I reading anything? Yeah, it is. Look at that spelled out. And look at those wheels already turned for you. Those are whack and jack and lack and tack. I wonder if that thing will roll. Oh, <laughs> it rolls with a wobble. Oh, like going over a gravel road <laughs> at about 30 miles an hour. You're bumping and bouncing like no tomorrow. There's chippy dippy on this, but overall, this isn't in bad condition. Maybe a little fix on those axles, wheels, and tires. And not, oh, looks like someone bit that one. <laughs> Don't bite your tires, kid. You'll wreck your teeth. Gotta go to the dentist and stuff. Uh, then it's not too bad, I guess. Oh, a 454 Chevy. Look at that beast. That is pretty sweet. Big doors on the back. This opens up this up to the top and these open to the sides. Very cool. What do we got on the bottom here? Anything we can read? Oh, kids, go to school, learn to read. 1997 Chevy <laughs> Oh man That is pretty Cool Oh another NASA transporter But look at this This one Has a flag on the back Come on We're up. There you go All chippy dippy out This one just says NASA this one has checkerboards. This one doesn't. Oh, one's worth a million dollars. Which one? Oh, I know sometimes I'm looking at these things and I miss things and I appreciate you guys commenting and helping me see the stuff I missed. 1985, 85, it looks like everything's the same except the paint job. Even the blue windows, front end, they look identical. Oh, except the graphics, and some graphics are worth a gazillion dollars, and some are worth nothing. I just don't get it. Oh, look at this Jeep. This baby's antenna. <laughs> oh. He's been bent over in the box too long. Kids, careful when you play with your antennas and little fragile plastic pieces because they might snap on you. You don't want them to snap. Oh, the heat gun would melt that thing up in a heartbeat. It's so thin. But this is for all my Jeep friends out there. Look at that. Jeep 4x4. 19, 
83. Wow, look at those big wheels and tires on it. That's pretty sweet. That antenna would be really cool if it was sticking straight up in the air. Oh, look at this big monster truck. Ford, 4x4, four four. this is pretty sweet and nice. Yeah, <laughs> we're talking pre-Bigfoot monster truck baby here. Oh, what do we got? Malaysia, 1995, upside down. Matchbox. Ford F-150. Oh. oh, it's 93. But look at that. Mint condition. This is sweet as can be, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Whew. Uh-oh. Is there a wobble in that step? <laughs> oh, there sure is. Look. <laughs> See that wobble? <laughs> that means whack a lack a jack attack on those axles and tires. Let's see how it goes on the track. Oh, what do we got here? Big fat fingers. That's what we got. I can't get the car out of the case. Sometimes you flip the whole case over just to get one car. Oh, look at this. This is sandbox bound, man. This one came out of the sandbox in the mud. Oh, a little dent on that. Pushing down the... Oh, big dent on the front. Maybe Mr. Ball Peen Hammer met Mr. Corvette here. This is a matchbox. You can tell by the wheels. Big fatties on there, though. Kind of cool. Chevrolet Corvette. I'm not. Yeah, Matchbox Super Fast. Made in Maku. Where's the date? There's a date. 1979. Everything was made in 79. Yep, look at that. Dirt still in the grill and on the undercarriage. This baby. Maybe rolled over on a big rock out on the safari trying to follow Mr. Jeep here. You can't follow a Jeep off-road in a Corvette. Oh, look at this Camaro in green with the white stripes. This thing is gorgeous. Oh, aha. I'm digging that one even in green. Blue might have been a little better, but hey, green is good. 71 Camaro Z28 Matchbox 1997 made in China. Oh, that is one nice ride. There's some guy in our neighborhood. He comes through our neighborhood as kids every once in a while with one of those Camaros, it was blue, jacked up, sweet as all could be. His dad owned the McDonald's in town. He had the cake. Oh, and the McCheeseburgers. <laughs> he was the Mayor McCheese, I think. Look at this old pickup truck. That is nice. What is that, International Harvester? Oh. Or is that kind of like a no name? I know you truck guys out there going, you're a, you're a Melvinoid. You cannot. Hey, I love Melvin. So, 56 Ford pickup. Uh, Matchbox International. Look at that. Who knew that was a Ford? I thought it was an International Harvester. Uh, with that grill, I didn't recognize that grill at all. Oh, I'm grateful for all you truck guys that know what you're doing truck-wise. Oh, now some of these old cases, look at it. You got a broken out piece. These are still fragile plastic. And sometimes those broken out pieces, that's okay because you got a tall one that can stick through that hole and your pieces and parts can fall through. Oh, look what we got on the bottom of this one. Some old, old matchbox. 
Oh, very cool stuff. Let's see what we got. Look at this ambulance. Very cool right hand drive on that. So modern, so sleek. Open up the back and there's the people. Oh, I, oh there's actually grandma on the, on the stretcher going in for a little checkup. Oh, I hope grandma's okay. This is sweet. What do we got on the bottom here? The Stretcher Fetcher! <laughs> 1971 Matchbox Super Fast with a logo. Where this one super fast. On this side, it's just spelled out. This one, logo. This one, just spelled out. This one's older. They didn't decide to put the logo in the mold yet. But this one has the back gate and everything. That is pretty sweet, the stretcher fetcher. Now here's another one. Not as nice a condition. But, okay. One of these things is not like the other. Can you tell, kiddos? One has a red bottom worth a gabillion dollars. Or maybe it's the black one. Who knows? But it's a variation. And look at those tires. Now the only problem, <laughs> besides wear and tear on that top one, someone yankee wanky the door right off. And now Grandma can roll out onto the street and we do not want that to happen. How morbid is that to have someone molded into the actual stretcher in the back? That is wild. The Stretcher Fetcher, 1971. Oh man, back in that day, that is when things were really fun and crazy. Oh, here's another Stretcher Fetcher, but it's the Viper Van. Oh, kind of fun. Oh, and here's your Viper Victim back there. Don't play with venomous snakes, kids. Let the professionals. Now this has a black base as well. Stretch a fetch -a. Everything the same. 1971. Oh, but different paint. You like the ambulance or the stretch or the uh, Viper van? Oh, depends on how crazy you might be. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I love this. I've seen this on the cover of some of the toy car cases that we all know and love. The M8 Rescue. Look at this space age thing. This is, you know, back in the space race when you had Star Trek and Star Wars and all that stuff. Look at those wheels on there. That is sweet as can be. Hot Wheels Space Racer from 1978. Oh, that is in pretty good condition if you can see it for yourself. I'm digging that one. Oh, what else? Oh, a dump truck. Look how cool this is. I just found one of these at a garage sale in a box. Oh, here's another one. That is nice as can be. Super fast. Matchbox number 26. The Sight Dumper from 1976. The Bicentennial. Oh yeah, I was wondering if this is on the cover, but it's the Steamroller on the cover. I thought it was a dump truck, but there's there's different dump trucks on there, but it's not this one. This one's kind of crazy kooky. Oh. oh, of course I tipped the thing all sideways and the car's all flipped out because I tipped the top case in. That's okay, look at that. I'm digging this one, totally cool. That is in great condition for being from 1976. 
Look at this, baby. Hippy dippy do. I like that. Oh, the hippies back in the 60s and 70s could be so much. 675 for one car? What is this? Oh, I'm still living in the 50s when the cars were real little. Ha <laughs> ha. Baja buggy. They didn't cost much more than a buck. 1971, right in the circle of that 675. Oh, trust me, I didn't pay 675 for this one. Oh, that is sweet, though. Very cool. Look at that. You can see right through that, baby. He's going sand hopping. We're missing an engine out of the back there. That's the only problem. And they want 675. Ah, oh, these people, they don't know what they're talking about when it comes to cars. They're just the greedies. Flipping and flopping and they don't even love cars like we do. Oh, this one's got treads on it. Remember how fragile these treads are? Hopefully I won't break it. Just trying to get it back on track there. Oh, this, this baby has moved it back to where it was. It is set in place. Because look, when we roll it, it's holding its form from where it was. Oh. That's what it should look like, but this this is a little flimsy. It stretches out like the elastic in your clothes, and pretty soon it doesn't stay up around your waist, and oh, that's not good. You want to keep that elastic on your clothes tight. <laughs> Oh, this one is sweet though. This is a super fast. Look at that. That's a metal hook. None of this plastic stuff for this guy. This guy's hauling everything. Oh, and heavy loads. Made in England. Matchbox. 1975 with the tread still on it. Oh, this is sweet. I'm telling you, sometimes you just... Like I said, a blind squirrel gets a nut every once in a while. Very cool. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, this is the steamroller on the front. Look at that. Big crazy graphics on there. This is in good condition. Metal hook on that back side. Again, to haul the big construction things. And look at that steering wheel. It turns with the front. That is cool. Again, these details they put on here. Very cool. Matchbox, super fast. 1970. Look at the three. It's way out in left field. <laughs> it's not spaced out right. Oh, they must have had a rookie doing the spacing on that mold, or he did it on purpose. Said, hey, look at this. I'm going to make it stick out. Rod Rolls. That's the name of this, baby. Oh. And there it is, right there. Isn't that cool? It's cool to have the cars in the case. And that's what I'm hoping to do is build out the this collection, look through it all, and then replace all the cars like this has kind of different cars from different eras in this case, but I want to fill it all from the cars from this era, especially if it's on the, the cover. Now, is there any difference in variation besides the decal being missing? Otherwise, these look pretty similar. Colors, pretty much the same. This one, not played with. This one slightly played with. There's just a little wear on those tires. Not much, but man, look at those big tires and wheels. Amazing. Same thing on the bottom here, 1971. Or 73, I mean, with its spaced way out. <laughs> Come on, gotta focus. There we go. Lesney products. Oh, very cool. Look at this mail truck. It, I don't think it is a mail truck, but it might be a female truck. <laughs> Get it? Okay. So 
here's one of those tabs where you put the trailer on and this top part holds the trailer in place so when you're playing with it and driving it around it won't be banging off and falling off but I'm digging this one it's kind of a weird different one cuz it's a Corgi Jr. Ah, oh, very cool rough terrain truck Ah, oh, Corgi Jr. I wish you would put dates on this baby cuz that is an old from I can tell the mold of the truck oh look at this this is our last one. Oh, you can tell the doors open so cool it's a right hand drive on that look at that you know what kind of car that is oh I have no idea if it's not written on the bottom I'm clueless well as all you real car guys know Oh, but I love these cars. So much fun. Matchbox, super fast, Renault 17, TL 1974. Patent pending, or a patent number, and a patent number there. Oh, this is patent number something something 927. This is patent number something something. 558 so there's two patents on this vehicle wonder what they are opening doors oh the vehicle itself this secret coded license plate oh I don't know look at these babies I'm digging them I'm digging them hi diggity dog and guess what I say let's go race him <laughs> Let's do it! We can't go racing yet! You know why? Look at this! One more car hidden in the corner! Oh my gosh! It's like toy sales and garage sales and even you guys that are flipping out doing the, the runs on the stores always double check because you leave some treasure hunts behind for the other people this is a rollomatic i do believe look at that doom buggy and a guy yep matchbox rollomatic 1973 this is the beach hopper. Ah, oh, the Rolomatics are cool. So there's one patent pending, or patent number. Here's the other. 172, 127. Ah, oh, this one is a very cool car. Well, let's see if he is a Rolomatic. Yep. <laughs> So as he's going along, your driver goes up and down. <laughs> so when he's going down the track, he must going fast. He must be going. <laughs> now let's go racing. Who's with me? Oh. Is race time we got all these super fast old versions I'm saying the stretch and fetches are cool to me we'll go new against used red against black okay here we go what do you say on this one Ray oh, oh, oh he crack a whack a like the jack Right by the big nuke missile. Oh. What were we thinking having missiles playing with kids? Oh. Let's see what we got. I'll tell you what we got. Ready, set, go. Oh, nice. That missile's wibbly wobbly. Oh, this fence took a hitting, but it keeps on protecting. Okay, let's see what we got. 
Oh, should we fix this fence here? We'll just bend it back a little bit. It's on hitch, but that's okay. We got missiles right here and guys and stretcher fetches. So, oh, this guy, this track is coming off here. Maybe we need a little fixie right here. Oh, there we go. It's not much, but it might make the difference. Now, when you guys set up your tracks at home, you know that just the slightest little bump or bounce in the track will set the cars a sailing. You don't want that. Let's try this again. Oh, there we go. That is pretty sweet. Oh, big hairs everywhere and dirt and ground. Oh, 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 oh the rollomatic. Oh, no. It is wider than the track. Oh, that's okay, dune buggy, mine a dune buggy. Let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> you see him? <laughs> He's wobbling up and down. It's so funny. Ready? Oh, he cracked up. Let's try that again. Come on. Oh, he cracked up the other way. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. I'm digging these. These rollomatics. This one's. Oh, oh, he got ejected back to the. Oh my gosh. It's like the cats are everywhere here. Oh, what? That poor dude. He's taking. He's not, not on a sand dune where it's going to be not so hard of a hit. Well, it's probably still a hard hit. Oh. <laughs> what is going on with the racing today? Come on. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right past this big missile. Yeah. Oh, let's get a Jeep up there. Come on, you Jeep guys. Get represented here. Oh, it's pretty wide. That's why. Oh, those are both slow dudes. Come on, we like racing fast. Let's do this guy. Oh, we'll do this against the space guy. He's got a no start on that. Ready? Go. Oh. That this guy is fast. That is nice, even with his head stuck. Let's race him against this lotus. Oh, let's see what happens. Oh, crack a whack a like a jack. That is amazing. Very cool. I'm gonna fix this fence and not pause the camera here. Oh, you get it bird's eye view of nothing you got ground effects now with steering on these things if the steering goes a little crooked I'm taking it as a crash and a three wheel thing also crash and look at this the one guy got a little whack of jack so his tires don't fit in and this guy's tires do fit in the track Oh, disaster happening. <laughs> oh, I guess steamrollers weren't meant to go racing. Oh, what were we thinking, thinking we could race steamrollers? Oh, <laughs> oh these poor guys. They're going, we're meant for road construction, not racing. Oh, let's do these. Oh. Slippery, slippery, dippery dock. The mouse ran up the clock, guys. Oh, uh, because it's 316. Ready, go. Oh, nice. That was a pretty good race and pretty even. I liked it. We got to go around with big missiles. Ready, set, go. Oh. <laughs> yes. Whoever that is, Elmer Sanders. Uh, Evan. 
Esther. Maybe it's a girl. It's Esther. Oh, nice. Girls dig cars too, you know. Oh, that is right. Big Mama loves going to a car show. And I am very grateful for that. Oh, you can't beat them like Big Mama. She's the best. Over. We gotta do that one again. Oh, that was pretty cool. Ready? Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. That was nice as pie. Whew, doggy. Ready? Set? Go! Oh, that GTO is just like super fast to flying, man. That Pontiac is pounding the pavement. Let's go. I, I think I'm too far down on this track. I gotta move it down a little bit. I can't get my big fat hand back there to start the starting gate. That is some good racing. These guys have probably never seen the track. They went straight from the package right into the case. And sometimes that happens when they're really cool cars. Oh, the Corvette! His engine stalled out because of all the mud and whack -a jack in there. This F-150 just went so Sailing. See them flipping around and going nander nander boo boo to you, Mr. Corvette. Oh, oh, oh. here we go again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go. Not slow motion on the vet because he's already in slow motion. Come on. There you go. <laughs> that is horrible. But you know what? When you play with your cards in the sand, that's what happens. The wheels and axles get just jack a whack a lack attack and there's no coming back unless you do a total restore on that. Oh, which can be done. Ready? Go! Oh, that missile boy! Pointing towards the supper club! Oh, we gotta fix that missile. The Viper van is crashing into our gates here. Oh! Our safety gates trying to point the missile at the supper club, or maybe it's at the monkey or the army man. Who knows? Maybe because we're not serving Franchisees today, which is his favorite. Oh, that was a nice race. What do you say we race a couple of these guys? I don't think there's any way we could keep those missiles on there. But we'll see. Uh-oh, fell down the crack. Yep, gravity's gonna take this one. Let's lay it down this way and see what happens. Oh! That's what happens! He got... Oh, the missile will go racing. Maybe it will race missiles later. Got a long one and a short one. Okay, ready? Oh, that was nice. Kind of transfer of missile power. Oh, let's race this guy. He's newer. We'll put the missile on top. Drop the missile. Oh, yep, there we go. We got a balance, barely. We'll try this. He's the newer of the two. 
Ready? Oh, should we put his missile on so they each have a missile along? Oh! This missile's like, I'm not waiting for the car, I'm going. Hey, fumbly fingers. Oh, there we go. There we go. Gate's broken right here for spectators. They're like, I'm going through to see this missile race up close. Okay, here we go. Oh! He drops the missile! But continues the race. Very cool, very cool. Okay, let's see what else we got. Did we race the Jeep yet? I don't think so. We haven't raced this caravan. Oh yeah, I think we did race this Jeep, did we? Or didn't we? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> We're going to put the missile in the back here and stand him up. Ready? There it is. Woo! Okay. Here's our case. Here's our cars. Whatever we raced so far. Oh, let's do this Jeep again against this Tahoe. Okay, ready? Oh, that Tahoe is flying. They're both upside down, crack a lack whack a jacking. Oh, but that's okay. Let's get them back up. Do it over. Kids, when you fall down, get up and just try it again. Try it again. This super fast, this guy is flying. Amazing. So he is like a jet rocket. And what else was really, oh these guys, the GTO was really fast. Let's do this. Pontiac against Chevy. Good, good race. Let's try it again. These are two fast ones. Ready, set, go! Go! Oh! He got ejected, crashed into the gate, and took out everyone. Amazing! So I rearranged all the cars, fixed the fence after that last wipeout, so this is what it looks like. Okay, now let's race and see if any of our layout changes in it. Okay. Okay, ready? Set. Go. Oh, this guy popped up. This guy got jacked. He got tapped. Hit that chain reaction. Oh, that is kind of wild. Let's try something different here. I'm gonna have the camera just right here and see what happens if these guys come down. Ready? Go! Oh, nothing this time. Let's try it again. He kind of flipped over. Let's see what we can get going here. Ready, set, go. Um. Wipeout City! Look at that section of fence taken out. Cars moving everywhere. Oh. Mr. GTO Pontiac man is just pedal to the metal all the way. Oh, that is wild. 
and crazy. Let's do it again. Ready? Go! Oh, hit the missile! Look at it wobbling, dabbling. Took one out, left one in place, but spun the whole truck transport vehicle around. That is amazing. These guys are the best racers for on and off the track. Ah, oh, so much. Oh, these guys are like freaking Frank playing on a slotted rock by the creek. Oh, let's, we didn't do this guy. Or did we? I'm so excited, I don't even know which ones we raced anymore. Oh, let's back this guy into place. Oh, hey, watch out, hey, oh. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens here now. Oh, that was pretty non-eventful, but still a nice race happening. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice. Every time I think it's the last race of the day, then I get excited about racing something else. Oh. Okay, here's the race. Okay, ready? I'm gonna keep the camera right here. Set, go! Ah, oh, nothing happened except a little wacky jacky backy here. Oh, we're gonna have to bring in a couple different cars and fix this track because this got knocked out of wacky. Okay, here we go. The space race car and the Z28. Ready, set, go! Oh, great. On both sides, we got the missile launchers getting hit again. Thank God nothing went off. And the fence got smacked from this space racer. Oh, maybe we need to put the space racer in this Chevy Tahoe, because those guys might be very fun to see how this all turns out. Okay, let's see what happens here. We got them all lined up. Ready? <laughs> here it is. Set. Oh, let's do overhead. <laughs> Get the missile launches in there and everything. Go! It was a crash. Look at that upside down, kind of little jacky on there. Nice. Oh. Kids, it is so much fun racing. Wear your helmets, put in your cages into your cars, so in case you roll it, you don't get hurt. We do not want to get hurt around here. Oh, but man, oh man, this is Racing at its best. Ready, go! Oh, spin out city. Okay, let's see this again. Ready, set, go! Oh, nice! They finished the race in one piece. These guys are still good. This guy, oh, I think this guy is super fast too. Ready, go! Flying off the track, he's going so fast. Camaro's just being cool and under control. Nice. That is good. Good stuff. Let's try this again. Oh man, the truck is killer. This is a great case right here to race. Ready? Go. Yeah. 
<laughs> jacked all these cars up. Moved our fence a little bit. Moved the Jeep, but that's okay. Let's do it again. Oh boy, oh boy. These guys are amazing. Oh, let's, let's get this guy. Oh, let's switch lanes. Okay. Because sometimes the top-heavy cars in our wiggle track really work well. Oh, <laughs> that GTO, he is all over the board. And this stretcher fetcher, is, I guess it is so bottom heavy, it's good. Oh, nice. That is good, that is good. This guy is still cracking me up. Let's see if we can get him bobbling. Oh. <laughs> he was bobbling, all right. He's scared to death as he's about to crash into the wall there. Very cool. Oh, our gates are a little messed up, but I think that is good for racing. Thanks for coming to the Toy Car Case at Johnny Roman Supper Club. Remember guys, gals, life begins after 3.16 on the old Johnny clock. Oh, come on, I love it. Let's do this again real soon! Thanks for coming! Oh, so I'm pulling out this case to put all the cars back and look! Little pieces and parts from the tray, but I also found this Jeep windshield and a screw at the bottom. Always check the bottom of these cases because you never know what's going to be in the bottom. So, when you're putting your cars away, kind of be careful with them. Make sure they get in there clean and sweet, you know? And if there's any little pieces missing or anything, you want to make sure that you keep them in that area so you can fix them later. You want to keep cars together like if they're in a bag or you know Baghdad when you're searching out cars at a sale or something you want to make sure that you check the bottom to see if there's any missing pieces of parts that you could find oh, our missiles don't fit in here but that's okay I'm keeping them together stuck together so that in case I don't know Soda Pop comes in here and starts going, hey, I'm going to play with these, and then messes them all around. Oh, again, fit these cases in very gently and sweet, and make sure you are real careful. Now, this one, see that duct tape? I'm telling you, duct tape fixes everything. Now, I'm going to put these missiles on top, and then this slowly closes over and you've got to, oh I got to, I'm going to put these with my parts later so when I go to repair things I've got pieces and parts that can be glued down. So this has a very old vintage snap. You pull out the handle a little bit and get that down over the snap and carefully snap it into place. You hear the click and you're good. Oh, now all these cars necessarily didn't come in this case. If I find a case or borrow a case that is all complete, I put it all right back in that case to try and keep the collection together. Oh, but this one was a cool one. Oh, so many more to go. Thanks for watching this one. We'll be back. Now here's where I keep all my pieces and parts so when I am fixing things or some of the cars that I think are kind of cool, I just kind of keep them off on this one little shelf all by themselves. Oh, 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 here's a bunch of little pieces and parts. 
all sorts of little do hat do dads and do clads. So it gives a bad point. Don't get jealous, guys. Don't get jealous. Haha, <laughs> it's the toy room! Yeah, baby! I know you're a toy car case guy out there! It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be!